All right, so welcome to the uh, week three practice drawings video. Um, what we're going to do again is uh, show you how to draw in SketchUp the necessary base that we'll use for our, our impellers. And so what I've got here is a drawing of the original impeller, this white and black one here. It has the uh, uh, impeller blades that will cause the water to move, and then it's the shaft in white and the model of the ceramic magnet that actually causes the rotation. This magnet is polarized through it across the diagonal and so when it's inserted into the motor, the motor, the rotation of the magnetic field inside the motor causes it to spin and then of course that moves the water. Now on the left hand side you'll see the modified version of this that we're going to create. Uh, this one's really simple to draw and uh, what we're go you're going to be doing is recreating the gray portion, the uh, uh, lower portion and we'll make slots so we can install our own magnets to work inside the motor. Uh, we have to be careful about our dimensioning and tolerancing. We need to be small enough to fit inside the motor and there's another um, uh, characteristic we'll talk about later that's vital too. Uh, ultimately the students will be responsible for, for designing or redesigning the impeller blades here at the top, the gold portion, and so we're going to um, that'll be part of what we're testing during week seven. But in preparation for that, we need to make this drawing. So let me help get you started. We're going to recreate uh, the student version there over here on the main axis. And so I'll zoom in over here a little bit and we'll get started. The first thing we're going to draw is the impeller base, that gray section. Um, so uh, we'll first we want to make sure we're using the right units. So if we use the window tool, model info, and we're using architectural uh, precision is in the 164th range. It has snapping enabled, and so um, this should work out pretty well. So I'm going to make sure yours are similar and close this if you're following along with this. Um, first thing to do is draw the base, which is a circle, of course. If you haven't done the tutorials uh, for SketchUp, uh, you really should do that, give you some good experience. Uh, that way you're ready to do this easily. Uh, we're going to do um, the diameter on this uh, circle is 7 30 seconds, so I'm going to put 7 divided by 32, representing 7 30 seconds of an inch, and then I'm going to hit enter, so that draws it. We're also going to lift it up uh, to make it full height, and full height on this today is 1 in the space, and it's 17 64ths is the full height on this. And so now as we back up, we've got what we're looking for there. Um, we need to make a slot for these magnets, and so let's go ahead and turn it upside down and uh, zoom in a little bit here. We're going to use a couple of the other tools. Um, zoom in one more time here maybe. There we go. Uh, first, I'm going to... This is one strategy for drawing it, the one I like to use. I'm going to get connected here. As soon as I get it to go across the diagonal, it's not picking up very well. There we go. Um, and we draw the diagonal. Sorry. Draw the diagonal here. Um, we're going to offset that using the measuring tool. I'm going to select this, offset it, and the distance we're offsetting it is 3 30 seconds. And so I'm going to do that this direction, do the same thing going the other direction, and enter. So then I'm going to delete, delete that line, excuse me, delete this line down the middle and put one on the opposite diagonal so we can do a similar thing here. Oops, having a hard time letting me select that. Uh, it's a little bit picky sometimes, but uh, uh, I'm gonna, I need to do better than that. Oh, okay. one there, and then here. So now we'll offset that one as well, and this one is offset uh, 21, 128 of an inch. And we'll do it again going the other direction. 21, 128 of an inch. So now what we need to do is uh, draw those slots that we're going to push away. So we'll hook up there and draw the top one. And then we'll do the same thing down at the bottom. and then we'll push those up. And the distance we're going to push those up um, is 23.30 seconds. Oh, I need to delete one more thing before I do that. I need to erase that original line. There, 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 
and there. And now I can push those up directly. So we're going to select this whole surface, and we're going to push it back 23, 30 seconds. And then we're going to grab the other one and push it back, and I can just reference it to that surface. Now I'm going to erase the uh, lines that we've made here. All right. Um, now we need to draw a s this thing needs to spin, so we're going to draw the circle for the shaft that's going to go down the middle. And that shaft has a radius of 728, 7 inch. And we're going to take that and push it all the way through the assembly. And so we'll rotate this up, and you'll see that it comes up to the top surface. So that puts the hole in there. So. Uh, I want to do want to do one other thing. I'd like to keep a surface right there. We'll need it later, so I'm just going to draw one line across here, and we'll uh, oops, undo that. Missed it. Try that across the circle, and I'm going to erase the line just so we keep that surface there. We'll need it later. So we've drawn this. I'm going to select all of it so I can make this one group, and so I select it all and then make a group, and so now it's one piece. All right, so that takes care of the first section. All right, now let's go ahead and draw the original impeller blades. This is one strategy. If you can re recreate this, then that will give you a good um, practice, and you can uh, design your own impellers as well. So let's start by uh, drawing the exterior circle that goes with this. And so the, the Im original impellers have a, a one-half inch um, uh, radius, so we've got that there. Um, I want to draw a line, a reference line from the center out. We'll go on to this uh, diagonal, so to speak, here. And then uh, I want to use the protractor command to um, spin this, so get our reference points. And so we're going to go 120 degrees for each blade, since this is a three blade uh, setup. And so there's our marking lines, and so we're going to mark those with a pencil here, and mark the other one. So now we've divided that up into its three pieces. Um, I want to offset these, so I'm going to use the marker. I'm going to select two of these lines with the control command, and then I'm going to offset them. Uh, five millimeters, and so since we're not using inches in this description, I'm going to go ahead and put five, then millimeters following that. Uh, oops, that um, did it. It's 0.5 millimeters. Let me hit Control Z to undo that. Uh, one more time here, that, and we're going to go 0.5 millimeters. Enter, and we're going to do the same thing with the other two. Hit the Control key, offset 0.5 millimeters. And one more time on the other ones, select this one and its partner over here, and offset 0.5 millimeters. All right. So I'm going to delete the original lines that we're showing there, those original three lines. So those are gone. Um, I need to draw the center hole now that that shaft goes through. And similar to the one at the bottom, it was also um, 7 128ths of an inch. And again, we're going to need to erase those three original lines and trim this up a little bit. If we zoom in near the edges here, you'll see that there's a few small pieces sticking out here. We should probably get rid of those. I'm going to go do this. Oops. We'll do the same thing over here. Uh, these pieces here, just to clean this up a little bit. Um, the drawings do sometimes care. So now that we've got that cleaned up, we also need to erase these lines that are inside. So I'm going to take these two lines, oops, Control z um, uh, missed drawing that circle here. So again, that circle was 7, 30 seconds. I accidentally deleted it earlier. Oops, Control z um, 7, 128s. Um, and then we need to erase these inside the circle. And then we're going to offset the circle. And so I'm going to choose the offset button. Actually, we should select the inside first. Select it so it's highlighted, then choose the offset. And we're going to offset it uh, one millimeter. So 
so now we'll erase the lines here erase these and these these and then we'll select the center and delete it as well. Um, Alright, so last step is to lift up the blades. So we'll lift those up and we're going to go up 5 30 seconds of an inch. And so that makes the impellers. We have a few more things to delete here. We'll delete these surfaces. Oops, escape with the wrong key. Put these surfaces, delete the lines. And rotate it around here and get this one and the other line. So now we've created the impeller. I'll draw a from left to right, highlight that, save it, make a group. And now we could also um, paint these in different colors. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Uh, <coughs> go ahead and make the new impeller red and paint this. And then let's make the bottom gray again. All right, so we'll close that. One more thing before we finish up here. When we were making the gray shaft assembly, <coughs> we created a uh, piece in here that we'll need to fix. And so let me highlight that. If I double click it, I can edit it. We added that surface right inside there. And I'm just going to select that surface and hit delete and then uh, click elsewhere. And that should work out. So that gets us uh, to an impeller design that should work. And the last step is to select all of these for your impeller and make one group out of them. So it's going to take the two groups and group them together. Um, so that takes care of drawing your first, Im first impeller. And it should be set up to accept the um, magnets and the overall dimensions should work well. The important ones are the overall dimensions of the gray main assembly and then also the shaft size in the bottom of the impeller. And so those are the important things. So make this drawing, come prepared to class. That's excellent.